Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Tawal Mehta and today we are going to understand how to generate bar chart in Tableau. So we are having dimensions here and here, here we are having measures. So I'll pick up one measure from here and I'll drop it into the columns. Let's pick up sales and I'll drop it into the columns. So I've got only one bar showing the sales of the entire data set. Now I want to bifurcate this sales according to the category of the product. So I'll pick up the category from here and I'll drop it into the rows. So you can see uh, the sales of the furniture, the sales of office supplies and sales of the technology. Now let us pick up one more dimension from here. And that is region. And let me drop it here. So you can see here that the furniture and its sales according to the central zone, east zone, south zone, west zone, office supply, central zone, east zone, south zone, west zone, technology, central, east, south and west. You can also change the size of the bar chart from here fit width, fit height or the entire view. So I'll give it standard at present. Now. Just hover your mouse here and you will get a very small icon here of ascending and descending. I'll again hover my mouse here. See, press it and your graphs will be arranged in the ascending or descending order depending upon your requirement. Now, I want my bar chart to be uh, generated with the subcategories. So, there is a small plus button here. Press this plus button. and you will get uh, categories, subcategories and region. So in furniture, subcategories, bookcases and their sales are generated. Furniture, chairs and the sales are generated according to the region. Now I can again select from here entire view. So it becomes a little bit clumsy. So I will select the standard view. Now, I'll press here, view the data. So it will give me the entire data which is there. I can also do the selection by pressing the control button and view the data. So it will generate the data only of the selected bars. That is also possible. Moreover, by selecting the data, I can export all in the CSV format. Now I will remove the subcategory by pressing this minus sign and make it plus. Then I will click on swap rows and columns. You can see here that the horizontal bar chart is now vertical bar chart. Depending upon my requirement, I can use the ascending or descending. You can see the changes which are happening, ascending and descending. Now, if I want to include one more measure, say for example, profit, I'm having three options. I can drop it in color, I can drop it in size, I can drop it in label. Let us see the output in all three cases, profit, color, and you can see the colors have changed. From here, you will be able to interpret the result that if it is very dark blue, the profits are very high. And if it is orange, the profits or rather you are in losses. So this is the loss making business. Furniture in central zone. Sales are one, uh, 163 and you can see the losses we are making here. Moreover, the profitable business is this one, technology in East. Now press Ctrl Z to undo the selection. Now I will drop profit instead of color into the size. And you can very easily see the wafer thin margin which is there or rather the losses which we are making. So this is a big fat profit which we are making in the business. This is big fat profit, moderate. And this is a wafer thin or a losses we are making. So this is our second option in which 
we can drop the measure variable in sizes. The third option, I'll pick up profit from here and I'll drop it on label. So you can get the text about the bar, which is about the profit. Now, if I want to change anything about this text, I can, I'll click on labels. I'll click on alignment and I will make it up. You click on up and you can see the changes which are happening. Moreover, I can also change the font size, the text size from here. So if I increase the font, for example, 15, you can see the changes which are happening. Moreover, the colors can also be changed. See the colors. You can make it bold from here. So for more videos on Tableau, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. You can see my playlist in which I already uploaded many videos of Tableau. Thank you.